The Gift. This story takes place in Dublin, USA, in 1912. Madeline took all her dresses out of the cupboard and piled them on top of the bed. She then emptied the drawers, taking out her hats and scarves and shoes. Finally, she placed two large suitcases at the foot of the bed. Madeline looked at the tower of clothes and sighed. Oh, Maddie, she thought to herself, how on earth are you ever going to fit all these clothes into just two suitcases? Only two weeks ago, Maddie had packed these same suitcases and left her home to come to New Hampshire for a holiday. Maddie lived in a large and beautiful house, and although she owned so many things and had everything she needed, she felt as though something was missing in her life, and her heart was sad. She had thought that maybe a holiday would cheer her spirits. Now, after having spent two weeks away, Maddie prepared to return home. But even though her suitcases were overflowing with brand new things, her heart still felt sad and empty. You should never have done so much shopping on this trip, she scolded herself. Now you'll have to go out and buy an extra suitcase. Suddenly, she heard talking outside the guest house she was staying in. Curious, she made her way to the window and looked outside. Close to the entrance of the guest house, she saw two figures standing together. That's Abdu'l-Bahá, exclaimed Maddy eagerly, and that must be his secretary. Just yesterday, Maddy had seen Abdu'l-Bahá for the first time. Returning to the guest house from her afternoon walk, she had noticed a group of guests crowded in the reception area. Scanning the crowd, Maddie's eyes had immediately fallen upon a majestic figure standing among them. He was wearing a long, tan-colored robe with a snow-white turban on his silvery flowing hair. Maddie's heart had filled with awe. She had felt as though she were standing in the presence of a king. But it wasn't his clothes that made her feel this. Rather, it was his loving presence and the radiance of his blue-gray eyes that had spoken to her heart, reflecting compassion, wisdom, and strength. For a moment, Maddie's heart had felt full. As the guests were making their way into the dining room, Maddie had turned to one of the guests and whispered, Who is that man? That is Abdu'l-Bahá, the guest had replied. The newspapers say he is an apostle of peace. He was made a prisoner for 40 years for teaching justice and unity. Now that he is free, he's traveled all the way to America to help us understand how to live together in peace. Now, as Maddy stood by the window, looking out at Abdu'l-Bahá, she wished that he could help her find peace in her own heart. Her thoughts were interrupted by the sight of an old man slowly making his way up the quiet street. His jacket looked dirty, and his trousers were torn and full of holes. How cold he must feel in his ragged clothing, Maddy thought. All of a sudden, Abdu'l-Bahá's secretary called out to the man. The old man stopped and then walked towards Abdu'l-Bahá. What could Abdu'l-Bahá want from that man, thought Maddy. Her eyes then widened in disbelief. Not only did Abdu'l-Bahá smile and greet the man as though he were a dear friend, but he took the old man's hand into his own. Maddy watched Abdu'l-Bahá say a few words, let go of the man's hand, and then step behind the guesthouse. 
Where has Abdu'l-Baha gone? thought Maddie, perplexed. She tried to peer through the corner of the window, but she couldn't see anything. She opened her window, but all she could see was the secretary and the old man, both of whom looked as if they were waiting. Maddie, too, waited. A few minutes later, Abdu'l-Baha reappeared. Maddy noticed that he had wrapped his long coat around himself and was holding something in his hand. What is he carrying? she wondered. Maddy watched as Abdul Baha lovingly handed a small bundle to the man. The old man held out the item in front of him, and his face broke into a wide smile. Maddy let out a small gasp. Abdul Baha had given his own trousers to the man. Maddy watched, her eyes shining with tears, as she saw the joy on the old man's face. She noticed that Abdul Baha too looked happy. One would think that he was the one who had just received a gift. Maddy couldn't help but feel happiness in her own heart. May God go with you, she heard Abdul Baha say to the man. The man thanked Abdul Baha and happily continued on his way. Maddy looked at the enormous pile of clothes on her bed and thought of the great emptiness and unrest that she had been feeling. Turning her gaze back to Abdul Baha, she thought of how Abdul Baha had sacrificed his own comfort to help someone else. Maddy realized that a life of giving to others was what would fill her own heart with joy and peace. Music